Hey, orange one here. So uh, let's just get right to it. We're going to mutate ourselves a little bit more. Um, I've been trying to basically just make us a uh, medical mutant, and I think we just got it, actually. Um, I'm going to keep on going, though, with it, because... Actually, you know, we have some stuff that can make us stronger here. I want to take some of it. Yeah. Okay, well that gave us Tranquil Mind. That's kind of nice. I think Ursine Ears is also fine. Um, do I want to go for that? Um, let's do one more of these. Okay, we got Cenobite. That's good. I kind of wanted that one. Um, we did get Narcoleptic, which is not too great. But I think we might be able to purify it. Um, let's see, do I have the purifier on me? I don't think we do. Let's see. Okay, we do have the smart one, and then we just have, like, just straight up purifier serum. And you know, what we could do is we could use that to get rid of some of our negative mutations. Sorry, hold on. Okay, where were we? Um, yes, uh, we were going to see if we can use that smart mutagen. Um, I just, I've never actually used it, but I'm just curious if we can, how it works. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So where is it? Narcoleptic. So, it, yeah, we could purify it. Now the question is... I mean, there's there's ones that we can't purify, so like we will always have this really good mutation of um, where is it? This right here. So basically, what that does is, do you see how we're super happy? That's because <laughs> we get a morale bonus from the amount of pain we're in, and we're in a lot of pain because we've been taking a lot of mutagen. Unfortunately, I think we're also addicted to mutagen now. So we're going to constantly be getting these messages about it. Just going to be kind of annoying. Um, we can work with that, but what we can't really work with is um, narcoleptic. Like that, I might try and just see if we can get it with a, a, like a generic purifier and see what we lose. You know? Let's see, I think that, no, it's not showing up right now. I think maybe we need to be like here. Okay, here we go, the serum's here, okay. Um, I, I'm worried about getting like genetic chaos or something like that, so I don't think we want to go further. And we can get like even tougher, but I think we could do that just with the cattle serum. Um. I'm going to go ahead and do just one of these. Yep, we lost Narcoleptic. Um, we did also lose that one. Okay, that's kind of good. Um, we did lose a couple of things, though. I kind of want to keep like self-aware. Um, and that we can get back. That's a shame to lose the Parasite Immunity and the Infection Immunity. That I was looking forward to playing with. Uh, we're still poison resistant, infection resistant, so I mean, still pretty good. Now, I mean, we could go for another medical mutagen just to see if we can get that up. Oh man, am I playing with fire now? I'm, I feel like I'd be playing with fire because, like, that could totally bump us up to genetic chaos. We also have robust genetics is the thing, though. I mean, chances are it's going to be not that bad, but it could totally be that bad. And I'm not looking to ruin this character. <laughs> um, so let's see if we can do that. Oh, no. 
that was really bad for us. That was like basically all the bad mutations, but it didn't break the character, to be completely honest. I don't know how we're gonna get ourselves to get rid of some of those bad traits, but um, well, now we're minorly radioactive with radiogenic. It'll be interesting. Uh, what if we do? Yeah, let's do another slime one. Um, and I think the troglobi I also wanted to do because these could be really good. Oh my gosh. Well, we lost our really good vision. We got full night vision. That'll be kind of interesting. Um, pain resistant. That's kind of a shame to get that. But there is possibly the ability to get like... Oh, no. Okay, we got albino. That might actually... Does that cause pain? That might be good. Um, I don't know if that causes actual damage or pain. Or a combination of both, but... In your case, that I think might play to our advantage. I'm not sure. Um, I really wanted to get like tough. I don't think we're gonna get that right now. I think that we'll hold off on doing the those other things because those could make it so we can't wear like power armor. So I think I'm good on on our becoming transhuman. Um, if we have anything to drink, I think we need to do that. Uh, I don't think we have any water. Actually, do I already have? I already have water on me. I already collected it. I no, don't don't fill yourself up too much. Why don't we just wait a little bit? Yep, now we're asleep. I I want to just make sure we got some water in us because we're pretty dehydrated and a little bit worried about our character's health, if I'm completely honest. Um I mean I think we're gonna be pretty tough after this. And seeing how pain isn't really gonna affect our ability to do too much like combat, at least the hand to hand combat. Okay, actually we just woke up. That's that's good. Um can I have some more water, please? Yep, as as much as it will let me drink water, I will drink. Um, any more? Any? I'm just curious if we look for drinks. No, what about food? I'm just curious if we do that. Maybe we'll see. No, oh, okay. Any soda, maybe? <laughs> yeah, here we go. There's some soda there. Uh. Oh, actually, I have an allergy, I guess. Do I have junk food allergy or something? What is that? What's my allergy? It's gonna be interesting now that we generate some radiation. That's gonna be also a problem. The chemical imbalance is gonna be really annoying. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Though. I'm, I think we've got some interesting stuff going on with us. I don't see what allergy we have. If you saw that in there, let me know. <laughs> I can't believe we got that trait. It's amazing. Oh, there's some there's some clean water that's just here. I must have like a gallon jug of it just like in here. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna tell myself to wait a little bit more. And yeah, apparently there's we have some sort of allergy there. I, it's saying you inedible plant stuff. Is it that we're a carnivore? Is that what this is? Yeah, we're carnivore. Okay, so we can't digest fruits, vegetable greens. Oh, man. Well, that's going to be annoying. But we might actually be able to pull it off. I've got some ideas. This character is going to 
I have to basically just hunt to survive. We, it's a shame because we got all that V8 stuff that I've been trying to make. Go ahead, just wait a little bit if it lets me. Yep, we're falling asleep. But we're hearing crashes, so we're getting woken up, which is fine by me because we kind of need to not be dehydrated if we're going to be falling asleep for like forever, which I think we might be pretty soon. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, and go ahead. Yeah, you can save. Oh no, we just threw up, so we just lost some of our water there. But it looks like we're still okay. We'll just let our characters sleep. <laughs> I think they've earned it. I think maybe we'll try and get some CBMs installed, but or we got to get that so we're not exhausted anymore. I don't know, does Mutagen tire you out? Or, I don't know. I think it might. I'm pretty excited. I think the the Cenobite I've heard is not as good as Dead End. I think it's still gonna be pretty good. But see, we're gonna start getting these messages all the time. That's gonna be kind of annoying. I mean, I don't mind too much, but <laughs> it'll be a little bit of an issue um, in the long run. I'm gonna get annoyed by that. Um, sorry. Hold on. Sorry about that. This is a pretty sudden cut. I um, had to stop recording for the night, and then this is the next day. I'm not going to have very long where I can I can do this, but I'm going to try and get in what I can while I can today. Uh, so let's see. If if you look at this, um, this now can um, administer some anti-radiation drug. And so I already have this anti-radiation drug injected that it pl it just treated me with for coming in here. You can also treat your wounds if you're wounded, um, and it can conduct like blood analysis. It's it's got some new functions. You know, it's kind of cool. In any case, I wanted to try putting in this diamond cornea and see if that will work. Um. And then I think I did maybe make some more mutagen. I'm, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take that or not. I was playing around a little bit with the character, and gosh, we are we are noticeably more dangerous now that pain doesn't really slow us down. Hey, we got diamond corneas. Perfect. Pretty nice. Um. So yeah, I think that I might just kind of accept our new abilities as like kind of like where we're gonna be there's also that medical serum maybe i could make more medical serum though there's definitely like the stuff just kind of laying around um we do also have the issue of being a carnivore so we're gonna have to go hunting um oh no are you asleep or something oh yeah so i guess they still go to sleep i don't know I haven't really been looking at him too much. He doesn't have needs. He's in pain, though. That's slowing him down quite a bit, actually. Wow. Okay. Um, whatever. I think that's fine. Uh, so yeah. I was also looking at all of our CBMs. There's not really anything else I want to install. There's some stuff I could install, like an offensive, defensive dis system, but it's just, like, not really worth it, you know? Um... But what might be worth it is just kind of like picking through these streets for like medication and whatnot. Because there is going to be some down stuff and there's going to be some dead zombies and whatnot around here. Oh, there's our toolbox. Did I leave that there? I think I left that on the ground. We don't want to leave that. That's that's a good item. <laughs> a really good item. I've also got filthy backpack on that I don't really need to be carrying around. I've forgotten why I had that. I'm honest. Okay, there we go. Can I put our filthy backpack here as well? Yes, we can. I think I also have a backpack somewhere around here. There's that filthy backpack. Yeah, I'm not seeing um, something that, that... Yeah, whatever. It's fine. We don't really need it, to be honest. 
I've just been kind of looking for um, the drugs. Like, so I've just been having that and I've just been driving around and it's uh, it's proven pretty effective. I mean, there was there was a good little spot earlier that I found like Thorazine and, and all kinds of good stuff on the ground. And that's kind of like what I've been doing is just, you know, killing zombies slash uh, taking the leftovers. And we could also maybe loot some houses and see if that gives us anything. Problem is, I don't think it really will. So let's just maybe see, is there anything that I might want to go check out in that police station, maybe? The bakery? i really like to get rid of this cannibal trait. I think we'll try and mutate that out down the road, but I think that I'm good on mutagen changes for now. I, I thought I looted that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Just checking to see if that was a gun shop or something. There's this library that we've looted. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. I mean, we could take the car back up and try and um, get to those military bases. There's also our evac shelter that I could show you a little bit. Well, we we'll go back to the evac shelter. Yeah, it seems like a good goal for us. What is that on the ground there? seat it looks very strange for some reason um yeah so you can see what i mean like there's multivitamins just right there i, I want to just drive around a little bit so maybe you can see what i'm talking about i mean i think i might have looted this area as well already so there might just not be as much good stuff why don't we take a turn on this street and see what we can find but there's uh, something. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Why don't we Why don't we show you a little bit of our hand to hand abilities? And we just did have surgery, so it's probably not the smartest thing to be doing. But I never said we were the smartest, you know. Hello, Nadir. I'm going to get my Jane out. Yes. Uh, draw Jane. It's kind of weird how it, I don't like how it like gives you that shit that um, option to sheath like that. Let's see. Um, yeah, so like as you can see, we're I think we've got boosted strength from what we used to, so I think we do a little bit more damage. But look at our dexterity and our dodging. Like we can actually dodge now if we don't have armor on. And that dex bonus is going to be pretty nice. Like, we like to hit bonus. Like, we're going to hit a whole lot. And, um, yeah. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're not really using that, so it's not really applicable. Okay. And, and let's go ahead and put our gun back on our back. So, yeah, that's... That's not really the best. Oh, look, the sunlight is really irritating our mouth. So if I look here... Oh my gosh, that was just a crazy screen at the top there. So it's saying mouth is irritated. I mean, I don't see any... any display about what that irritation is. I think it's um, my al being albino. I'm pretty sure makes it so yeah we sunburn so we might get actual damage from this i'm not sure our comfort is rising i think that might be part of our issue but yeah we'll see yeah i gotta i gotta stop here and yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit i gotta just do some stuff for the real world okay so another little time jump uh now we're out of the city, um, and I came down here because there's some dwarf coyotes that I want to catch. So, yeah, we're going to go hunting, basically. Um, there's a bunch of these acid ants, though, so we're going to have a bit of a problem with that. So can I uh, wield my gun? Yes. Oh, I have my toolbox out? Well, hopefully I don't forget that. I got a feeling I will. 
Uh, let's go ahead and yeah. Yeah, I think that we're gonna be a lot more deadly. And I kind of want to kill the dwarf coyotes, but we're gonna have to clear these guys out first. It's gonna be the issue. I have the bullets. Those is the thing. And um, for some reason, I have negative focus. That's weird. I didn't know that that was possible. Apparently, I've got negative focus. Okay. Sure. I think that mu must be a new uh, way of calculating it because I don't. I didn't think that was possible beforehand. Yeah, let's go for that guy. That guy seems to be the closest to me. Yeah, the game seems to think that we're in danger, but you and I both know we're not. Like, honestly, these guys are not much of a threat to us at this point. I mean, they're, they very much are a threat, but not with our guns and how we're using them. Oh, there's... Oh, no! There's a poor, there's a poor dog there. I don't think we're going to be able to save you, pup, but I'll try. Oh, you guys are... Uh, you're not coming towards me. They're trying to get away from the giant ant. Funny. Okay, now we need to switch that out. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's get that in. Um, what? No, I want to keep that. That was weird. Yeah, that's kind of some a little bit too many button clicks for me for trying to not we, I don't know why it asked me to put my gun away after I reloaded said gun I was wielding, you know, whatever. Okay, we're, we might, yeah, want to fall back right now. Or maybe we'd go full auto. Go auto on this guy. I have the bullets, it's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll take some steps back. We have the bullets, but why waste them? Oh, now I'm going auto still. I just was saying, why, why waste the bullets? Okay. We don't need, like, full lane, do we? I'm just not sure if we'll be able to get them all. And, like, with those dwarf coyotes, if we are able to even partially butcher some of them, then we should be good. Okay, it didn't ask me to do any weirdness there. Good. Sorry, buddy. And we're pretty much in the clear. No, we're not going to take that guy out. Okay, so first things first, I want to probably get that toolbox, right? We probably also let ourselves actually hear things. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with our, our focus here. I think our fatigue level might be affecting things. But I've been having actually negative focus a fair amount recently for some reason. Oh, here, here we go. These guys are coming. I think it's... I mean, it has to be a bug, you know, honestly. I don't see how it could not be. Okay, toolbox, there we go. Yep, go ahead and put that on. Um, actually, I might need the toolbox in a minute. I think, where's that butchery rack? Southeast, so that's here. Yep. Um, we'll we'll get it out in a minute. Okay, then let's activate that here. Cool. And then, yep. Um, maybe. Do I have a backpacker or something that I can? Maybe I could wear my leg pouches. Yeah, let's get those on. Oh, we got also some incoming. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, let's just reload the guns so that it's all good. Because we might have that juggernaut coming our way. Yeah, they, I think, are going to be coming over here. They might get distracted by some some acid dance, I hope. But I don't know. Okay, so let's see. We were looking for... Dwarf Coyote right there. And the question is, do I go for the Quick Butcher or... Nah, we're going to have to take that guy out. Okay. Well... I could do the honorable thing and fire myself, or I could let my friend out, who's actually much better at fighting the skeletal juggernauts. Yeah, let's let you you come out. You're not good against the acidic guys, but um, hold on, what's can I get my gun back out again? Yep, sure, drop that, and then yep, we should be able to hold on. I just want to plan my inventory. It won't let me? Okay, weird. Okay, uh, we're gonna want to bring that with us, I think. Um, is that the Juggernaut coming our way? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, bud. This is what I brought you out here for. <laughs> Protect me. Do it. Oh no, come on. What are you doing, man? You're not gonna engage enemies. Um let's change that uh that you can kill easily. I think that you can kill this guy easily. I don't know if you realize that though. Yep, here we go. <laughs> if you've if you've seen him do this before, it's it's quite a treat. Uh there's an ethereal zombie though that, that's trying to get in on the action. I can't can't let that happen though. And we could. We would be fine actually. Oh, he got hit. But he'll be fine. Like, that isn't even that bad. Oh, he's actually bleeding. Hold on. Examine wounds. Oh, you're badly bleeding from your head. Uh, do I have... Yes, I do have bandages. Can I, um... Use my bandage on that? The bleeding is stopped. Okay. So he did lose a fair amount of blood there, actually. Blood stain and spatters. A heap of gore. I think that was from hit the coyote. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure how I check his blood loss, but... Let's see. How are you doing there? You bleeding again? No. Okay. I mean, his head's actually not that badly hurt, it's just more the bleeding was a little bit concerning. If I give him a bandage, is he gonna, like, auto be able to, like, take care of himself? I, I don't know if he can. I'm gonna get my Jaina out, actually, because I think that actually does more damage than our gun. Uh, that did not do any damage. Okay, I did four damage. Um, nope, it hit me, but that's fine. I'd rather it hit me than my friend, actually. There we go, good job. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. Rogue's Virtue, nice, sounds like a good book. Okay, uh, can I actually get that backpack of yours? Thank you. I'm gonna pick that up and wield my, or get my gun there. Okay, um, we are apparently warm. Why? 
My legs are warm. Uh, what do we have on our legs? Maybe we could take the briefs off. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Just straight up drop them. Yep. There we go. Cool. Apparently the now we're good. Um, let's see. Was there a, an acid ant there? Okay, yeah. But they're not really a danger. Okay, cool. Um, then I will see about doing this uh, dissection. Is that court? Here we go. Yeah, I do have some more medical mutagen. I don't know if I want to do it, though. I, I'm not sure if I want to break this build. But I'm not sure if I want to go full carnivore. I think I might go more cattle mutagen. Just give us ruminant or herbivore, because I think that that actually is much more fun to cook with than just meat. <laughs> you know? Um, whatever. It is what it is. Here we go. What did we get? Uh, that's not that much meat. I was hoping for more. But the fat and these other things, we can eat all of that. So I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for now. I mean, yeah. The thing is, is that we do have to do some cooking. We are very hungry. But yeah, I don't wanna don't wanna mess ourselves up too much. Yeah, it's gonna take sixteen minutes. Well that's actually that's I think I've got some water around here, right? That I could make. Okay, sure. Make some water really quick because we're gonna need that anyways. And then we can actually use that to um which we'll call it i think we had some rehydrated meat and that like happens like pretty much instantly yeah let's just do one of those just to give ourselves a little something to eat because our character needs it um i think though that we're getting near the half an hour mark so i'm gonna end this here thank you for joining me this has been orange one